Karnataka is home to some of the most enchanting tropical forests of the Indian subcontinent. Within its vastness, we find Dakshina Kannada, home to evergreen and moist deciduous forests. Confined to the high elevations is this tropical evergreen forest, where the canopy is unbroken extremely dense and almost evergreen. An enormous diversity of species reside within these boundaries. Untouched by human civilization and under the constant watch of our silent heroes. This is a story of duty, honor, and sacrifice. These are the guardians of this paradise. Athletes, on your mark. Start! On a tense afternoon, we witness able candidates display their physical ability through athletic activities where their endurance and strength are put to the ultimate test. Able candidates contesting to become a part of the forest department are selected based on their vigor and strength. The candidates also undergo a physical examination followed by a written test ensuring that the quality of candidates that make it to the training have both the brains and brawn. Once selected, the candidates are sent to the training camps where they undergo another set of training with regular drills. Sports and physical fitness is an integral part of the training. To be officers march in union, displaying their synchrony and sheer discipline. Trained and ready, these guardians heed to the forest call. With the proud khaki uniform, they take charge of safeguarding our mother nature and her inhabitants. Under the guidance of senior and experienced officers, it is now time to take on their job. The road is difficult and dangerous, yet with a positive outlook, they move forward. They travel to every nook and corner of the forest in their department jeeps and bikes. These jungles are vulnerable to many threats. Despite the streams, boulders and muck deterring their movement, our green warriors continue performing their sacred duty of the forests. Equipped with nothing but a sickle, an old hunting gun, and their wits, they walk to the remote areas of the jungle. The journey is slow and exhausting. The forest is thick, making it harder to see. Everything seems inconspicuous. They scan the forest for any signs of local wildlife. Many of the recruits are new to the unique creatures and take a moment to absorb the beauty within these lands. Yeah. 
They mimic the calls of several animals as a means of communication with other forest officials. They must always stay vigilant. Leopards, which are the forest inhabitants, are least of their problems. There are several other dangerous animals, such as snakes, gores, and elephants, that they must be wary of. Even the local farmers must stay alert as elephants pose a great danger to their crops. They're known to uproot coconut trees, arachna trees and banana plants to extract its bulbs. They consume other crop varieties as well. Elephants frequently raid the farmlands beyond the limits of the forest, threatening months of hard work. The local farmers are updated regularly on the movements of these elephants. To prevent the elephants from raiding the croplands, large elephant trenches are constructed on the edges of the farmlands, even amidst some local disagreements to protect farmers as well as the elephants. Major concern is the illegal land encroachment by the locals, which further enhances the rift between the locals and the forest officials. Unfortunately, Officials cannot prevent all wild animals from entering the villages. Here, in a small town, locals reported an adult leopard that plunged into a deep well, to which the forest department immediately responded. Leaving no time to waste, they construct a makeshift ladder with the help of local villagers and deploy it down the well. The exhausted leopard immediately grabs the ladder they then open a section of the well to attach the cage. To prevent the leopard from attacking, they cover the well with a large net and connect the cage to the open section. They then deploy another long ladder to help the leopard climb into the cage. It is a risky procedure. Many officials were injured severely in the past due to leopard attacks. With nowhere else to go, the young leopard tries to break through the net. As the officers direct the animal, it eventually walks into the cage. the leopard will be released back into the wild, away from human settlements. One of the biggest threats to our men in uniform are not wild animals, but the ones that identify with our own species. Yes, here in the jungle's remotest parts lies the anti-poaching camp, with a nearby village miles away, depriving them of even the most basic necessities. With the limited resources, they patrol the forest looking for poachers and smugglers. To protect themselves, they are equipped with rifles. There is no electricity supply here, and due to the remoteness of the area, 
they're forced to do most of the work themselves, even cooking. Due to the large population of elephants roaming within the portion camps, the guards use different types of crackers to ward off elephants from approaching them. They are also effective in driving away other dangerous wild animals. Here in the forest depot, the department selects specific trees for logging. The timber is then measured and sold to customers. Unfortunately, even with the department helping in supply of legal timber, some people resort to illegal logging. Heavy traffic at night is an advantage for illegal timber trafficking. When the department received word about an illegal activity, they set up a barrier to intercept the smuggler. The officers cross-verify the vehicle documents of the driver and check his timber permit. Then, they head back to the cargo hold to find any illegal goods. If identified, they immediately seize the truck. But not everything goes as planned. One such unfortunate event as a result of a similar exercise cost the team an officer. Deputy RFO Prabhakar, who was undertaking a similar interception, lost his life in an accident during his attempt to cross the road. An ambulance speeding towards Bangalore ran over him. Prabhakar was immediately taken to the local hospital where he passed away. Another devastating situation that still looms over the department is the loss of yet another member, Mr. Kushalappa Gowda. To facilitate the highway expansion, the department had arranged to cut down some of the trees. Unfortunately, during this activity, an erect tree fell over the forest watcher, who lost his life immediately after. From uh, protecting uh, this uh, motherland from illicit felling, poaching, encroachments, as well as animal attacks, uh, we have lost our best officers to date and many injuries to other officers. So, at this juncture, it's my honor to pay a homage to such uh, best officers as well as our colleagues. Time after time, many of these uncelebrated heroes go unnoticed for their contributions. These warriors risk their lives trying to retain our shared territories with the wild, all the while safeguarding the wilderness within. These officers stand as strong pillars, guarding the vastness of our forests and protecting our biodiversity. Let us take a moment to pay homage to the lives lost at service and give these heroes what they rightly deserve. Respect and honor for going far and beyond to perform their duties. We come across many obstacles and difficulties while implementing the rules and regulations of the Forest Service and a few of them are the attacks by wild animals or by poachers or 
due to fire accidents or normal accidents and what not we can see so i salute the martyrs with this small documentary and the whole forest department is indebted for their great service rendered to the forest department thank you